Now, outspoken Gedhunguri MP Gadhoni Wamoshomba now claims she started opposing government policies after realizing that Kenya Kwanza was insensitive to the prelate of her voters. The vocal MP, who was elected on the UDA ticket, said she has no apologies to make for going against some of Kenya Kwanza's policies. The MP said she has been brought up in a humble background, beset with abject poverty, where she was helped by well wishes to even wear her standard one school uniform her upbringing and the need to get back to society the MP said are part of the reasons why she cannot sit back when punitive policies are being pushed down the throat of Kenyans according to her most of Kenyans do not understand why she behaves differently and takes hardline position against some issues she said this and I quote they only see us on screens and they don't understand the other burdens that we carry. I have very special burdens that I carry based on where I have come from. And of course, speaking during a no hold barred interview with KTN News on Thursday night, Wamashomba said most of our views are informed by where and how she was brought up and schooled. That background, she said, influences her actions and persuasions beyond the political expectations of other people. The MP who is allied to the ruling party Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance shock her UDA party when she campaigned vigorously against the finance bill 2023 claiming it was punitive with heavy taxes on Kenyans on Thursday the MP explained why she was against the government position saying she believed the bill was a controversial document that had things which she did not agree with she stated this in the court I knew if I did agree with them then there is a section of people that I represent which I failed were not going to be treated fairly. When the finance bill came and I read it through, I felt that the Kenya Konza government was being insensitive to the needs of the people that supported him. People who heard my story resonated with my story and gave me votes. End of quote. This is some Cuban news.